Hello, this is Sweet June coming back at you uh, with another interesting video, um, giving you something to marinate on. Uh, something that uh, I've been marinating on and um, just really, really bothered by. Um, the fact that I want to talk about uh, do black single, I'm asking a question. Why do black single mothers, all black single mothers get a bad rap? Why? Why do all black single mothers, it just seems like, you know, uh, watching a lot of video, YouTube videos and everything and uh, just, um, it, it just seems like uh, black single mothers when when you hear about uh like say for instance this situation in chicago with all these shootings going on um black single mothers are being blamed for that you know um we don't know what if all these people that are doing these shootings are come from single parent households or not we don't know the situations uh but black single mothers are getting blamed for everything that happens in the black community everything that happens into in the black community falls on black single mother's shoulders and it just seems like to me that all single black mothers get a bad rap it's like it just seems like we get put we all get put in that same box and that's very disturbing to me you know um I, you know, I've been a single mother for many years, um, many, many years, and um, I've tried really, really, really hard to um, do the best job that I could, could as a single mother and raise my, I have two sons, and I try to raise my two sons in the best way that I know how to raise them, you know, and um I try to, over the years, I try to lead by example, and I try to, um, you know, for many years, I, you know, went to school, I worked, and I went to college for many years, and I try to lead by example and to let them know how important education was and everything, and I try to teach them the difference between right and wrong. I try to teach them about God. I, I, when I started serving God, you know, when I became a witness and I started serving God, got really serious about serving God. Uh, I tried to teach my sons about the Bible, you know, and teach them about serving God, teach them the difference between right and wrong, and uh, really uh, stand firm and then let them know um, what's right and what they should do right in addition to trying to lead by example and doing the right thing myself. Um, as a single mother, I basically did the best I could, you know, and um, as a result, you know, knock on wood, you know, I got two wonderful sons. Um, and I know a lot of good single black moms out there. Um, that have done an excellent job with their kids. It was just a recent report um, in the news. Now, it's interesting because this didn't get a lot of news time. It's, it, when something, when black women do something positive, it doesn't get a lot of news time at all. Um, but it was just a little something that I read um, that two, I think it was two twin boys winded up, that were raised by a single black you know, two black twin boys that were raised by a single mom winded up getting into, uh, I think it was one of the prestigious colleges. It was just a little snippet that I read in the, in the, on the internet. And I was like, that's interesting. But you know, this, this will never be talked about on YouTube. Nobody, this, this won't make nationwide news. This won't be talked about on YouTube. Uh, I, I know plenty of uh, examples of uh, 
black people, uh, black children going to college and they were they something good out of themselves and they were raised in a single parent, a black single parent home. Uh, Gabriella Douglas was raised by a single mom and she just look she just won all the kinds of uh, gold medals in the Olympics here. And she was raised by a, a black single mom. And I know many uh, examples of black children coming from black single home, single moms, and they turned out to be, be wonderful people, uh, great assets to the community and to society. And me personally, you know, I know black single moms personally that well i come from a single parent mom you know my mom was a single mom i come from a single parent household and i say i turned out pretty good i mean am i perfect you know have i made mistakes sure we all make mistakes but i think you know i've never took i've never used drugs um even before i became a christian i didn't use drugs i never abused alcohol um you know, um, did I make mistakes? Uh, did I make bad judgments? Yeah. But pretty much for the most part, um, I think, you know, I would, it turned out pretty good. You know, uh, my mom did a really good job and she raised four kids, all four of us, you know, not just me, but my sisters are good people. Uh, my older sister and my, uh, my other two sisters, they're Christian. They're not in the same religion that I'm in, but they're Christians. Uh, my other sister, she's married, been married for many years. My other sister, she's uh, she's a cr good Christian woman, you know, never married, never had any kids out of wedlock. Um, my other, my brother, he's a, he's a minister, you know, he's a minister and He's always been a good man, never been in prison, never been in jail. Uh, my cousins were raised by my aunt, a single mom. They were good kids. And I know many examples of just people in my community that raised really, really good children. And they were, they were a product of single parent homes. I know many people my age that have children and they're good they were raised in single parent homes and they turned out, their children turned out to be really good people. So all black single mothers are not these horrible people that raise, that produce horrible children. There is a certain percentage of black women that are raising children that, yeah, they go out to commit get in gangs and be thugs or whatever but then you have a, a a good amount of black women that are single mothers and they're doing the right thing towards their children and they're raising their children in the best way they know how they're teaching their children good moral values they're teaching their children what's right and I just I just I just I just this is really disturbing to me and I just really really get tired of all black single mothers, just black women in, in general, getting lumped into the same category as the black mothers that, yeah, maybe are, you know, raised um, the thugs, but then the black, but the fathers never get blamed. You know, the, no responsibility is never put on a man for not being in that child's life. All the responsibility and the weight is always put on the mother. And even in those situations, you don't know, you can't fully judge because you don't know what the situation, you don't know the whole situation. It could have been a situation to where she had, you know, a few kids and she had to go out and work. You know, sometimes in some cases, these mothers are working two jobs, especially if they live in a major city like Chicago, where the cost of living is really high. And it might be a situation to where the mother has to work two jobs in order to keep a roof over the kid's head and all that. Now, anytime when you have a single mother that has to work two jobs, I know what I'm talking about because there were times where I've had to work two jobs. When you you got a single mother that has to work outside the home, has to spend many hours outside the home, 
something is going to be lacking. Something is going to be lacking. That takes a lot of time away from the children. And even, you know, you can't just throw, say, now in, in, in some cases, yes, the mothers are not leading by example. I'm not saying that there's not mothers, black mothers like that. Sure, there are black mothers like that. There are black mothers that do not lead by example. Maybe they are using drugs. Maybe they are running the streets. Maybe they're not uh, taking responsibility for their children like they should be. But there's that is only a certain percentage of black single moms. That is not representative of all black single mothers because you got a lot of black single mothers out there that are doing a great job. I know a lot of them personally right now as I speak that have done an excellent job with their kids. And I just get tired of us, do not lump all single black mothers into the same category. Because I have two wonderful sons. I put my foot down with my kids. I started disciplining at a young age. I started teaching them the difference between right and wrong at a young age and all of that. And I tried to instill good values and everything in my kids. And as a result, I have two fine young men. Knock on wood. Okay. Hopefully they stay that way. Okay. But you have a certain percentage of single black mothers yes there are a certain percentage of them that are not responsible that use drugs that run the street do whatever don't lead by example don't try to raise their kids not responsible for their children but we are, we shouldn't all be put in that same category it's not fair and it's not right for all single black mothers to get a bad rap it is not right it's just not right because they're like i said that little situation with the twins going to a prestigious college and they were raised in a single black mother home, parent home. That didn't make nationwide news. Nobody talked about, nobody blew that up on YouTube. And it's not going to be blown up on YouTube. And there's many cases like that. There's many cases of children coming out of black single mother homes and they're going off to do wonderful and great things. But you're never going to hear that being blown up on YouTube. You're always going to hear the negative. And that is what I have a major issue with. I'm getting sick and tired of black women getting lumped in the same box. It is not right. And it's ignorant. It shows ignorance. You're ignorant. If you do that, you are ignorant. That is like saying, that is like me saying that all black fathers are deadbeats. Well, that's not true. You got a lot of good black fathers out there. I'm not going to say that. That's not true. That's because I am not ignorant and I am a logical person. And because I am not ignorant and I'm a logical person, I know that I personally know the good black fathers. Okay. So am I going to lump them all in the same box? Yeah, there's a large percentage of black men that are not good fathers. But am I going to say, well, throw a blanket statement out there and say well, all black fathers are Dutch and deadbeats? No, that would be bashing. I would be bashing and I would be putting them all in the same box. And I'm not an ignorant person and I like to think that I'm a logical person. So I would never make a blanket statement like that. So it, it's, it's, it shows a course of ignorance when you make those statements. But I just, I just, it just, that really bothers me. And I'm getting sick and tired of it. And I'm sure that a lot of black women feel the same way that I do. They're just Black single mothers. I mean, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Why? Why? Why do you think that all black mothers get locked and get a bad rap? We're all seem to be getting a bad rap. You know, it's just, I'm just, it's just such a heavy burden. It's just such a heavy burden that a lot of us have on our shoulders. It's just ridiculous. But I got some more interesting video topics coming up. So stay tuned. 
Uh, I, I noticed I got some new scribes. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, I thank all my subscribers. Uh, please like and share my video. Peace.